I saw them first at a, a music showcase. Then when I hired them and had them here last year, they had grown so much. They were very good when I saw them. They were very, very good. And this year, they have gone to that next level, and they're now a really, really class, top-notch, stellar act. One that would, I think, would be a highlight on any stage across the world. I really sincerely believe that. Basically all we try to do when we're on stage is have as much fun as we can. You know, we're not just sitting on stage doing a boring show, like we're, we're there to entertain people. I know how we feel about our music and I know how we look on stage and how it comes across. And it's, all I can say is that it's really honest and it's f just full of energy. Even the quieter things, it's got its own, you know, slower songs, they still got their own dry, their own energy, you know. had that audience just like that in the palm of their hands and they kept them there consistently throughout the performance and that's a, that's a mark of a really top flight band visually they're stunning orally they're stunning and and everybody just loves them i mean the standing ovation they got tonight i think was you know pretty obvious there's nothing quite as sincere as people leaping to their feet. Thank you very much. My name is Nora Rendell, and I play flute. I'm the lead singer, and I also play the whistle. So I'm Ailey, Ailey Robertson, um, and I play the harp in the band. My name's Fiona and I play the piano accordion. My name is Killian O'Dolig, guitar player in the band. Um, my name is Maddie Rankin and I play fiddle. I also step dance and I do backup vocals. Just lately we've been incorporating Killian's Irish style of dancing with my Cape Breton style and it's been a blast. It's so great to learn new steps. When Maddie joined the band, more or less the same time I did actually, um, she was the first member of the band to kind of do dancing. She's Cape Breton style dancing and she's been doing that more or less the whole way throughout and just recently we've started incorporating that I, I, I do some Irish dancing as well I kind of have done all my life. I think the combination of the Irish and the Cape Breton is going to be uh, really great for the show and for the band. It's, it's fun to kind of mix things around you know take some steps from Cape Breton and have an Irish guy dancing them and at the same time have a girl from Cape Breton dancing some Irish steps you know it's uh, two very different two, two very different things. Well, we all have totally diverse backgrounds musically and we all come from totally different places in the world as well. So we, we each bring kind of, we each have a really unique flavor, I guess, in our playing. I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland and I started harp when I was about 13 years old. Ailey is amazing, doesn't play harp like many other harp players. She has a really funky style. Ailey's harp style is totally one of a kind. The combination of guitar and harp as backing instruments 
is really kind of characteristic in the way Killian and, and Ailey's instruments, with the way they kind of work together, is really unique. And I just love playing with Ailey. Myself and Ailey kind of, we'd be kind of the accompanying section of the band. And um, she's an amazing insight into chords. And just the way she plays the harp, it's just such a magical sound to it. You know, not like how you'd usually hear a harp being played, but really just something else, you know, it's like mystical kind of an overtone to the whole thing, you know. Killian's got a fantastically driving guitar style. He's really fun to play. Me and him are kind of responsible for most of the accompaniment in the band, so he's really fun to play with it. So everything's just got a lot of energy in it. Actually born in Germany, mother's German, father's Irish. I was eight when we moved to Ireland, so kind of then was more or less when I started playing music. He's been performing since he was a kid. Uh, with his, his traditional Irish band uh, in Germany. They, they were really big in Germany when he was growing up. And Killian is a really great guitar player, really driving player, and also an awesome dancer. I'm from a small town on the west coast of Cape Breton Island called uh, Mabu. I took fiddle at the age of 12, and then I took step dancing, uh, which is a form of dancing that they have back in Cape Breton. I'm quite a rhythmic player on the guitar, and then when she's playing on the fiddle, she often times she'd be doing this choppy stuff, and um, I just find it like it really gives me the groove as well that I need to kind of go along with that, you know, and it just gives it a right, right push, a right drive. from the Highlands of Scotland and I started playing through the fashion movement and I started off as a Highland dancer, uh, all that stuff um, and one face I was doing Highland dancing and I happened to see a piano accordion and thought it was cool, not sure why but thought it was great and so I decided I was going to play the piano accordion and I persuaded my poor parents to buy me one and get me lessons and never looked back. Fiona on accordion, her style is really bouncy, her playing, it's really, um, it's really sort of lively um, and she's got this really unusual style of using her left hand for playing. Whatever she's doing on the right hand, but when she gets the bass is going on the left hand, it's just like whoa, like a big foghorn, it just gives it such power, you know. She plays chords in a way that I've never heard anybody else play chords before, so that's really nice. So I think musically we all bring different elements, um, but we all have very similar ideas about music and how, how it should sound and what we want it to sound like. I'm really passionate about traditional Irish Shano singing, but there's no chance I would ever really um, have, I mean, I'm, a, I'm from Vancouver, so it doesn't really make sense for me to try and be a Shano Irish singer. And I used to sing in gospel choirs and, and I've always listened to all sorts of kinds of music. And uh, so, so I kind of take my passion for singing as just a singer just such power in the voice you know and it's really refreshing to hear for me anyway and to hear like the likes of Irish and Scottish and Canadian folk songs not sung in an Irish accent you know what I mean the Canadian accent just kind of gives it a little a touch of something I can't, haven't really put my finger on it yet. We all like performing and we all love arranging and that's kind of what brings us together even though the traditions we come from or the traditions that we play when we're back at home are very very different. They can expect to see I think a combination of traditions. Some are really rooted in the old style, you know, there's a definite uh, old sound, and then there's a total new sound combined. Here we have people like Brian McNeil, like Patty Keenan, who are some of the superstars of, of the music from the 70s. Uh, and to see the interaction of the younger performers, and the respect they have, and to watch the reaction of, the, of those, some of those, the, the, the big stars of the firmament, seeing you know, the outside track and, and going, okay, yeah, the music is in safe hands. Reverie. If I sing her in the Lord, if 
a sinker in the Lord now. Gold and silver shine so bright at the fairest star to go wed her tonight. If you sing her in the Lord, if you sing her in the low down, low down, low down, if you sing her in the low down, low down, low down, low down. So he burned his breast and he swam with the tide and he bore three holes in the other ship's side and he sank her in the low down, low down, low down, and he sank her in the low down, lonesome low. And he buried his breast and he swam with the tide and he swam right back to his own ship's side as she said. Captain, Captain, take me on board. If you don't, you've got to forfeit your word. 